Hello, this is a short overview of Crow Canyon's equipment tracking program for SharePoint and Office 365. This is a great program for managing your equipment, tracking where it's been used, what maintenance is needed on it, what contracts are associated with it, what vendors and work orders and purchase orders can be included also into this system if you wish. So we start with the piece of equipment. Here is a list of equipment. In this list of equipment can be arranged in many, many different views in many different ways. It these column headers can be changed to any way you want according to what fields are on the system. So let's look at one piece of equipment here. In this case, we're looking at a vehicle. The Crow Canyon Equipment Tracking Program can track any kind of, of pieces of equipment, office furniture, factory floor equipment, construction vehicles, regular vehicles, tools, any kind of equipment that can be tracked. We have an IT asset management program that's particularly geared for IT assets, but this program it's geared for equipment that can be used in the field or in the factory or in the shop, can be checked in, checked out, and it needs regular maintenance. So let's take a look closer look at this. You can see different tabs. These tabs are arranged and configurable 100% with no coding in our application administration using our Forms Manager. Our Forms Manager tool allows you to set up the tabs in any way you want with different names, different labels, different order, permissions on the tab, and which columns are on the tab all configurable in our system. With the many different types of pieces of equipment and requirements to maintain those equipments and track those equipments in the real world, our program needs to be flexible enough to accommodate different uses and different needs. And it's able to do that through being highly customizable. So in this case, we have equipment. We have the ID, title, maybe make model, different information about it, location and owner, where it's being used, where it's located. We have history and finance an image of the piece of equipment, contracts that are associated with it. These contracts have expirations that can be renewed and the person who is responsible will get an alert when that contract is coming due. Maintenance tasks, we'll look at these in a moment, the work orders can be checked in, check out. And what can also be done is certain tabs can show up depending on what kind of vehicle it is and what, what the requirements are for recording information. There's also a history of who checked it in and who checked it out. Now over here on the left, you can have different quick launches of different vehicles checked out, maintenance work orders, vendors, contract, report center, and dashboard. Let's look at maintenance orders. And maintenance orders mean, for example, the oil change may be needed or some regular maintenance recurring at a regular intervals can be set up to happen and assigned to particular people or a particular group. Again, we have the tabbing feature. So these can be set up to record and track information you want about each work order, but most important is that it's related to a piece of equipment. So work order perspective, you can look at the equipment. From, a, from the equipment perspective, you can look at the work orders related to it. So here in the equipment record, we have the related work orders that are associated with that piece of equipment. So going back and forth between the equipment and the work orders, you can keep very close track of what maintenance is due, when it's been assigned, when it goes overdue, and keep alerting the people who are assigned that to get the work done. We have a report center where reports can be generated on different kinds of equipment, on different criteria. Here's one on by vendor in a pie chart. On the home screen, you can see overdue work orders, unassigned work orders, how many are open, who they're, and then of course you can open up each work order and see who they're assigned to from the equipment homepage you can see the types of equipment and vendors, status, all kinds of interesting information in a highly configurable program. And in our application administration, we won't have time to go into that in de detail in our quick overview here, but you can see that there's quite a bit of configuration capabilities as well as plan preventive maintenance configuration. So I hope this gives you a quick overview of our equipment tracking program for SharePoint and Office 365. Please contact us for a demo and information and we'll go in much more depth and see about adapting this to your particular equipment tracking needs. Thank you.